and DJ there. Yeah. And uh, I'm playing two times a week, or was playing two times a week. Mm. Every week. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, you know, we also did some other uh, gigs uh, in Norway, in uh, Spain as well, in the Czech Republic. So it was oh, a nice. bit of an international connection traveling. as well. Yeah, yeah, it was nice, yes, indeed. Yeah. You know, to share the musical experience and all that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Like, what's, what, are you, what are you aiming for? What is your pinnacle goal? I, I think from this point of view, yes, I would like to play at a big festival, you know, to uh, smash the floor and uh, make all the people... Uh, Go uh, crazy. Have, uh, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, this, yeah, this, that's a dream of uh, all the DJs uh, out there, you know? Yeah. It's going. It's going really well. How's it going with you? Yeah, very good. Thank you so much for playing at Ultraviolet Live. I'm really, really happy. I'm enthusiastic about it. I had a very good time. Uh, it was very good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. I really enjoyed watching your set. I'm so curious. What was your first musical experience? Like, where did you pick up the skills? Uh, you say for me, it started professionally, I think, three years ago with, uh, with Underground. That's where I started to really progress myself and change the musical styles and it was quite amazing. And tell yeah. me a little bit about your style, your genre and like... Uh, let me say, I, I, love, I love to mix a sort of a deep house to mm. melodic techno and progressive sounds. Yeah? With the nice scenes and fat basses and that's, that's my, uh, I think that's my signature of uh, what I'm looking for. Tell me a little bit, how did you prepare for your set with Ultraviolet? Well, uh, to be honest with you, I, uh, I did a lot of preparing. So to carefully select my tracks, uh, the beats, and what was uh, trendy. And what can we expect for the audience out there? Well, you have to listen and then you see what you can expect. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. And are you an independent artist or are you signed with any labels? Well, I'm uh, with the Late M Records at the moment. Yeah, so what are the challenges in the industry? Like, because you're kind of functioning as a cross hybrid, uh, independent, and also part of a label, is that right? Yeah. yeah so, yeah. it's the biggest challenge in the industry for you as an independent artist to get your sounds out there. It's quite a big challenge. A lot of artists out there, there's a lot of uh, yeah. competition, there's, yeah. uh, there's a main. Uh, we're trying and see how, how far we go. Tell me your highlights for 2020. What were your, or recent highlights? Uh, let me see the highlights for 2020. Ah, uh, a nice party underneath the bridge where we got busted by the police. It was amazing. <laughs> when was that? I think in August. Okay. Yeah, we did we did a rave somewhere in the place where they used to do uh, uh, they used to do raves back in the nineties there. So we were with, with with some people. All of a sudden, uh, there were seventy of us, and then we had fun for an, for an hour before the police came and scattered us all out. And uh, and that was under a bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you set up the sound and oh, everything. Back, back in I, do you have any video footage of that so that we I can? I think find? somebody from the group <laughs> might have some. Where can we find you online? Well, you can find me on uh, Facebook, you can find me on SoundCloud, you can find me on Instagram. I'm still working on, uh, on a YouTube channel. And these are the challenges also, right? Just yeah, to keep yeah, up yeah. with all the social media. No. So, are you working on any rec anything recently or what's next for you? Uh, I'm not working on something at the moment. Uh, I have some little projects in my mind. But mm. then, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep them hidden until they're oh, completely uh, uh, finished. Know. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, uh, Tell me, where do you, what, what do you think about the underground club culture and where do you kind of see it going? Well, I think uh, uh, sometimes the underground club culture is uh, not really, really well appreciated. You know, people like to go to big places, to a lot, lot of people, but it doesn't mean it's always every time the best. Eh? We've had uh, programs there with, with people that had an amazing time. Mm. And then I think that, and I hope that is uh, something that uh, is going to uh, boost us in the future with our experience, you know? Yeah, because definitely. Sometimes more, something more intimate is a bit more better than big stuff, you know? It depends on how more you look at things. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, for myself as well, like I'm discovering all these new sounds through this festival. Yeah. And it's been so cool to discover what's not, you know, once you take away that commercial mask and you see what's happening underground, yeah, yeah, yeah. you really get to appreciate a lot of the artists theme uh, for this one is brave new world yeah. what's your vision of a brave new world uh you got me there <laughs> <laughs> i uh, thank you so much for playing at ultraviolet live we really appreciate you so much this is hamilton